I have the pleasure to be here with Martin Ford, author of uh, The Rise of Robots. For the ones that haven't had the chance to read the book, could you summarize your idea of that jobless future through technology in two or three sentences? Well, the basic thesis is that technology in the form of robots and machines and smart algorithms is increasingly going to displace workers, especially workers that are doing more routine, predictable type work, and that's a very large percentage of our workforce. So I think that over perhaps the next decade or two, this is going to be a huge issue for us, and there is very likely to be a situation where there simply aren't enough jobs for everyone that needs one. John Maynard Keynes once said something similar. He said that we at some point would be working around four hours a day. However, we're still working, and a lot. Why? How, how is it happening? Well, you know, part of it is that, that Keynes assumed that we would be satiated in a sense, that we would get to a point where we had enough material things, um, and that hasn't really happened. You know, people continue to want more. We also have a very serious problem with inequality, where, where really the wealth that's being generated is going right to the top, and therefore, a lot of average people are kind of struggling just to survive. So uh, I think we are kind of moving toward that future, but it looks like it's not going to happen automatically. We may have to put some policies in place to, to make that kind of vision come, come true. So what can we do to, on one hand, benefit from that technological progress and on the other hand have still a stable society and a functioning job market? Well, we need policies in place to ensure that everyone, whether they are able to find a full-time job that provides a, a dependable income or not are, are going to be able to survive in, in our society and also uh, have the purchasing power to act as consumers and conti continue to uh, drive the economy. If, if you don't have that, then you really run the risk of stagnation. So I, I, I do think we're eventually going to need some fairly radical policies to address that. As a part of a solution, you mentioned a basic income. Um, in June, we have here in Switzerland a referendum regarding a basic income. Would that be the right step into the right direction? I think, I, I definitely support the idea of a guaranteed income. I think that's one very good proposal that will help us adapt to uh, the issues that we're going to face in the future. Um, the, the, the specific proposal here in Switzerland is very generous. It's, it's a lot of money, a little bit more than I had um, anticipated, so it, it's not clear if this is really the right time or perhaps that's a bit me premature, but I'm really glad to see um, this issue gaining traction and countries like Switzerland taking it seriously because I think that is really an important movement to where we need to be down the line. It's really interesting to talk to you and about this whole concept about uh, technological progress. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.